Today we're here to talk to you about the unique adaptations of our amphibian friends. So if you look at him, you can notice that their skin is very different than a lot of other animals that fall into the, or the classes of mammals and reptiles and our birds. They have this very thin skin um, that is also something called permeable. Permeable is the ability of the skin to allow liquids and gases to be absorbed into their body. Um, this can be a positive adaptation for many amphibians as it allows for them to breathe underwater. So if when frogs hibernate in the winter, they're able to use their skin as a giant gill to help them breathe and absorb their oxygen and allow it to go into their blood vessels. Many salamanders are so effective at breathing through their skin that they don't even have lungs. Um, however, Mr. Sai, although an amphibian, he has lungs. So but we're going to start our demonstration so that you're able to see what permeability actually means for an amphibian. So we have two eggs here. They're both hard boiled. The first one represents the skin of an amphibian. It's a peeled hard boiled egg, so there's no shell on it. So this is going to represent the permeable skin of amphibians. Put that in one glass. And the second egg is a hard boiled egg, but it still has a shell. And this egg represents the low permeability of a mammals or a bird skin where they're not able to readily absorb oxygen and water and chemicals into their bloodstreams. So we'll put that in here. We're going to add water to both of the cups. And then just like Easter egg dyeing, we're going to add some food color. So we'll do purple food dye. We're going to add one, two, our eggs three. sit for about a half hour now. And now we are going to discuss and see the difference between a low permeable skin, such as a mammal or birds, and the amphibian skin, which has a high permeability rate, which allows gases and liquids to pass through it more readily. So we're going to start with the egg that represents mammals or birds skin. As you can see, the egg itself is pinky purple, so it's dyed. But now we're going to open it up and we're going to observe to the inside of the egg to see how much of the liquid, um, or if maybe we were doing this to demonstrate an ecosystem, how much of the chemicals that could be in our waterways got into the skin of this animal little of the liquid got through. You see some spots here and there where the liquids may have got through to the eggs, but overall the low permeability and that shield the skin of mammals has often protects their circulatory system and their nervous system from chemicals to be absorbed into it. So this is the skin of the amphibian. Now look at the difference of these. The skin, the thicker skin of a mammal, obviously protected the mammal and the circulatory system. Whereas this amphibian obviously was able to absorb the water that and the air and chemicals into his system. This adaptation, although we talk about how it can be beneficial for frogs to allow them to hibernate in the winter, they use their skin as a way to absorb oxygen into their bodies and into their blood. Um, and we talked about salamanders who are so well adapted that they're now lungless. And there's many other amphibians that benefit from such an adaptation. However, it can also be a harmful adaptation now that we've introduced humans to the, the landscape. So as you know, a lot of our chemicals that we use get into our waterways. And when these chemicals are absorbed into amphibian skin, they can cause a decline in populations and they can also cause amphibians to not grow as healthy as they once were.